So this is programming challenge 4-3 for introduction to Visual Studio or Visual Basic from Tony Gaddis and Kip Irvine for Shasta College uh, the fall semester 2019. So anyway, what we have here is let's go back and look at it, what it says first. to what oh that was a fat percentage guy me oh no so this is oh this is software sales close that one close that one and software companies often offer their customers an option to lease software yearly or purchase it for a one-time fee also there are there, they offer numerous add-on options as technical support, training, and cloud backup services. Your task is to write a program that offers the user these types of options using radio buttons and check boxes. The sample is shown in figure 436. The prices you, you will use are listed in the following table below. Here's the table here. And this is what the form is supposed to look like. You got two group boxes here. And then this is a panel button or a panel box. And then you got your labels and your radio buttons and your check boxes. And then you got your buttons. All right, so let's see what I did here. So you put the group boxes on first. There's two, I just copied this one and then I changed the licensing options for the group box and then the optional features yearly on that group box and then this is a panel and then I made the radio buttons here you got to remember each radio button is is a boolean so it can either be true and that's when it's checked or it can be false and that's when it's unchecked so each one of those and if it's in a group box you can only have one radio box checked at it any given time so you can clear the radio boxes but you uh, you have to have one of them checked so and and then with the the check buttons you can have one or two or three check box just checked at one time but you don't have to you can you might only need one checked or two or so and that was the the main problem with this 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 program that i saw was figuring out the logic for the checkbox, not not the radio button box, but the checkbox. So anyway, this is what we did here. So we went down, I'm pretty sure I pro, pro yeah, I did. I, I always program the close button first because it's the quickest and easiest to do. So you close it. And the thing is you can, you can actually close it by taking this me statement out of here, but whether you're, what the me statement says in Visual Basic, it's just closing that application. And if you did that with just close, it would work just the same. So it's taking whatever you, this this form that you're working on the, and everything in this particular form, and that's what the me but or me expression expresses is this particular form, and then you're closing it. So then you clear the result of the check boxes and the and the radio buttons i see this is what you can you can make the radio buttons false and the after you clear them and they'll they'll come up without a check mark being checked so then you would have to check it which is exactly what i did here so then we did the calculate and this is these are the numbers i took from the the table here So it was the yearly lease was five thousand. The one-time purchase was twenty thousand, and then, and I made them decimals because if you want them to look like like uh, currency or well, not, and I guess you could make it. And that's a different thing. But I I made them in case you had to have a dot zero zero at the end. Of them. That's why I made them decimals, and put all the numbers from the table in here. In the in the integers and what they were going to be this, this was just to remind me personally here of what the numbers were so then i made the, the actual licensing as a decimal 
the option these these are the for the check buttons the check boxes and then this is where I started doing the logic with the the, the radio buttons so the radio hey. buttons are no the check boxes I'm sorry oh no these are radio buttons so this is these are the the yearly lease so one of these is for yearly and one of these is for one time and if neither one is is marked then your message box pops up <clears throat> please select a that was one part of the the programming challenge it said to, to if no neither one is checked to pop a message box to say that you need to select a licensing option so in the second part which is the check boxes you have to figure out every combination of what check boxes can be checked and that's what this this did so if the checkbox is checked and i started out doing all of the check boxes at all being checked so this is for the check the tech support checkbox and the on-site checkbox and the cloud computing checkbox checked and you could take out the the, the actual checked if you just put and checkbox it would be it would it was it, like oh i yeah if you put it checked that means it's true so you could put equals true after that but you don't need to so you got level three is 3500 and then on-site uh was it on-site training was 2000 and cloud computing was 300 and then took the that result of these three things and put them together here and put them in the optional result box. So I did that with if there's only two of them checked on site and cloud compete. So we're using the an expression of the and expression here. So then we took it and we did if the check box support is checked and the on site is checked. So we did it for every combination checked and cloud is checked then you only add these two oh whoops that should be three, three see i caught myself with an error right there and then all the way down to if only the check support is checked or if only the on-site is checked or if only the cloud computing is checked so we did it with all three then we did it for two of the three and then we did it with one of the three and then if nothing is is checked then we have that we haven't selected any optional features checkbox and then we put the optional result of those three values into the total of a, this is license optional result is the of the checkboxes here those are your options and we put optional result here and then we put the deck total here which is a your yearly result which is licensing result dot to text string so that's your your that's what it's doing and we did that up above and we did that here so now we run it <clears throat> so we got yearly lease and we got level three so we calculate it so we got so it's five thousand for yearly lease and three it didn't say to put a total in the in the programming challenge so we didn't i, I would assume or i shouldn't assume anything but i would imagine that they would have a different spot for an actual total for everything so yeah i mean you can even change it if you wanted to change it to one-time purchase and do on-site and then just do recalc it'll recalculate it for you so and you can see how it like it works for all of them so let me change it to you see so and it, so it works for every single one of them correctly and then we got our exit 
So that that was everything. Starts here. Declare all your variables. Then your radio buttons. Then you want your message box. If no radio buttons checked here. And then this is all your logic for all your check boxes here. So I started out with all three of them checked, which is this here. And then I put the results in there. And then I started, made, went slowly down to two of them checked. See, I took it out here. And then I put it in the optional result again. And then I started out with two other ones checked. Those two. I put it in the result. And then I started out with the other, the last two checked. And I put it here. And then I put your option in the, so it's all the same. You put it, you just got to figure out what combinations are checked and what the result would be. So this is every single combination that can be checked. And this finally you get down to only one of them checked. And that's those three right there. Or if nothing is checked, you end up here. And then finally, you got your total. That's your optional of your options. These are your checkbox options right here. <coughs> and these is your licensing result totals. So this is the total of your licensing. So it's whether your licensing result plus your optional result. But we only use your yearly and your optional here. So I hope that does everything for you. And that's it for programming challenge. What did I say that was? Four or five software sales for Visual Basic programming for Shasta College by Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine. All right, I'll see you ne next time in another video.